He made a I'm not inviting him in. He said, what do you do? That's our date night. That's our date night. You, what do you do? We turn off all the lights and act like little kids. We go back in the back corner of the house and pull down all the shades and it doesn't look like anybody's at the house. You say, aren't you worried about them tearing up? I can fix it if they tear it up. I'm not worried about you. What are they going to do? What are they going to think about you? You're the only house in the neighborhood that's dark. They'll think he don't participate in that. You say, well, I don't want to do what you want to do. I'm afraid of that stuff. The things of darkness, the one you're wrestling against. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, principalities, power, spiritual weakness, rules of darkness, and high places. You better be aware of who your enemy is. I ain't inviting him in. You can do the history of Halloween and all that other stuff. The bottom line for me is it's connected with the devil. I don't want nothing to do with it. Amen. Now you get home, you get in the, in the car and go buy them a donut, a hot now on the way home, get them some hot chocolate and that kind of stuff. And then come by and say, now the preacher is entitled his opinion. And he gets a little carried away sometimes. He goes a little too far to the right. That's just how he is now. He's an old man and he don't have kids around. Hey, listen, I don't have kids. I got great grandkids. I know who I'm talking to. Well, Paul, Paul, don't you think, uh-uh, you ain't doing that here. You better stay at the house. Amen. So what'd you do? We hide on, th on Halloween. Yep. Amen. Now, I don't mean for the whole sermon to be on Halloween, but some of you are real good and uncomfortable right now. Preach. You see what's happening? I've already seen the trunk or treat signs out. I've already get the stuff in the, the, uh, the mail and all that stuff saying, come to our church and it's an alternative to Halloween. On the same day? Uh-uh. And you go ahead and dress up, but just dress up as a Bible character. Man, are you kidding? When we do Christmas plays and stuff, we don't even let you dress up like Frozen around here. Amen. Ain't, that the, ain't that the Frozen? Ain't that the princess thing or something? Let it snow or let it snow or... What? Oh, let it go. 